What you're seeing behind us is, uh, is known as Sabre Guardian 23. It's an exercise that uh, happens in, in Southeastern Europe almost every year. And it brings together a, a number of different nations from across Europe, from Great Britain, and even the United States. And uh, this one's about crossing a, a river, obviously. But it's more than just building a bridge. It's, it's demonstrating our ability to quickly in place a bridge, to defend one side, to quickly attack the far side using every piece of enabler, every piece of equipment, all coming together as a combined arms effort. Clearly uh, a, a lot going on behind us here. And I think, you know, this, this demonstrates a couple of things. You know, first is it demonstrates we can go wherever we want, whenever we want. And we've been doing this for the, the last several days using multiple means to cross a wet gap up to a thousand meters. And uh, we've proven we're, we're pretty, pretty good at that. The other thing this demonstrates is, you know, our credibility um, that, you know, when we show up somewhere and we say something, we're going to follow through on that, whether that's, you know, uh, our commitment to the partners here in Southeastern Europe or the, to the overall alliance. So being able to cross a wet gap is incredibly important. I mean, uh, you, you see terrain like this all throughout Europe, um, all throughout the continent. And so being able to do this quickly and rapidly and maintain your, your combat power and that momentum and seize the initiative on the other side is, is, is critically important. So in the background is uh, 11 M2A3 Bradley fighting vehicles. Uh, today we are actually going across the Danube River. Um, we're the last in the order of movement as uh, we are the, um, uh, the decisive operation. So everything that is, is going into this is prepping the battlefield. Our NATO partners are setting it up for us. So as we cross the river um, and reach our objective, we'll be able to do that successfully because of them uh, fighting the fight before we get to our part. Now, the Bradleys behind me, they weigh anywhere between 30 and 33 tons. And uh, the pontoon bridge that we are crossing is a Romanian bridge. And uh, each pontoon that is connected is rated for 60 tons. So that was important um, as far as safety goes for us to understand that capability. But also it gives us confidence that uh, that this um, enormous, uh, you know, restricted terrain in front of us will not stop us from crossing to accomplish our mission. So we learn from each other while we're here. And also we learn to trust each other. Um, we have U.S. rafts that are taking across um, Romanian APCs. We have uh, Bulgarian ferries that are taking across uh, North Macedonian vehicles. I mean, it's all, it's all part of working together. And now we know that if we have to do this anywhere in the world, we have experience with it and, and that builds confidence and we also have confidence in our partners as well. This is our second uh, multinational exercise with NATO and uh, we, we've learned a lot so far and look forward to doing it at any opportunity that we get. In Romania, in, in especially on the east flank of the NATO, we have a rich network of rivers. So basically this is the main obstacle when you can stop if we have an aggression. So during our exercise, we prepare to cross this type of obstacle together with the maneuver forces. If we cannot cross this type of obstacle, the fight stop in the front of this obstacle. So it's a very important to us to learn together because we have different tactics, different TPs. We have uh, engineers from uh, many countries here. And of course we have maneuver forces for allies and partners.